Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> it's Magic and Miracles Monday. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Deborah Acker and I'm an intuitive life coach. I clear energy blocks to abundance, to love, to intuition, to all kinds of good things. And in today's Magic and Miracles <laughs> Monday, I actually want to talk to you about my weekend which was so super, super interesting. And so this weekend I actually, so I live in Chicago, for those of you guys who don't know, and this weekend I went to Wisconsin. And I went to Wisconsin, it was with a girlfriend of mine and literally five other people, I believe it was five, four, four or five other people that I did not know. And so basically, um, it was in essence, I went to Wisconsin with a bunch of people that were strangers when I first started. And we get to this space, and it is a beautiful, beautiful space, like totally amazing, awesome, yummy, delicious energy, and um, it was gorgeous there. And what was so interesting is, I've, I've, as a side note, I have asked for, this is a really weird request, but I really, really um, have asked the universe that whatever stuff that I need to clear in the next few months for that just to come forth and to come up, right? And so no matter where I am, I'm like, come on, bring it on. And part of the reason for that request is I'm a coach and I want to uh, like basically walk my talk and make sure I'm always um, speaking, uh, walking my talk and clearing my stuff for me helps me see my clients clearer. So I'm always all about just continue to keep clearing, clearing, clearing. It also helps me to feel better, helps me to be in more presence and more truth um, and just to feel more calm in my life. So all of those things are really awesome, yummy things. So I actually really, really um, enjoy clearing and enjoy the whole process of clearing, even though in the, in the moment it may not feel comfortable, may not feel good. And so one of the things as part of that, this weekend, a lot of stuff to clear, a lot of my triggers have been coming up. And part of why I ask these triggers to come forth is if I can't feel it, I can't heal it. And so I really, really have been wanting, like, if, if, you, if you're living it in, in real life, if you're living it in real life, <laughs> I just realized that it's a lot easier to see me if I have my hands like this. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of light in here, uh, but uh, if you know if you're in, if you're in real life um, uh, and the stuff is coming up, then you can actually feel it, right? And so if I'm if it's not coming up, it's harder for me to access it and it's harder for me to clear. And so we're on this weekend, um, like I said, with basically in essence a bunch of strangers, and I'm just going through my everyday and and things are coming up, right? And so. Part of what I was doing and what what I was really, really grateful for, right? So this 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 space that I was in held so much presence that the only thing that you could do was really be present with who you are and what, what was what was there in the moment, right? There was no none of that distraction. It was on this all um I can post a um pictures here too, but uh it was on this beautiful lake, uh, and it just had this really, really juicy, juicy energy. And so um so basically, all my stuff's coming up, and all I can do is feel it. It's like it's like okay, I'm I'm sitting in a room, and we're talking about different things. And then there was at one point where I was like, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and just go ahead and clear because what was happening in that moment was the little girl. Hello, whoever joined. Hello, um, please introduce yourself. I'd love to say hi. Um, but the little girl that was within me. Um, I'm talking about Wisconsin, <laughs> but um, the little girl that was within me. Um, needed that, needed to, to be present in that moment, actually hear what, what everyone was talking about, I needed to go upstairs and actually honor her first. And so that's what I did, right? I, I, I just excused myself and I went upstairs and I cleared, which for me in that moment was crying because um, there was a some pre some something I needed to draw presence to and really needed to be present to. And I don't remember what that is. There was, I, I shared that with you. I was like, what was it that I wanted to be present with? When I clear it, I don't remember it, right? I don't hold it anymore. So that's actually something that's really, really cool about clearing and clearing your stuff. So in any ways, basically Magic and Miracles Monday, um, what I want to say to you guys is to really honor, when you get triggered, I know we get so trained and, and it's easy to want to run away from that. 
And I want to say to you guys, honor those triggers, right? Because they're helping you access that information. They're helping you to feel it so you don't actually have to experience it again. So that's one. Um, hi, Suzanne. Thanks so much for joining. Um, <laughs> uh, we're talking about Wisconsin and triggers. <laughs> um, but I'm talking about just honoring your triggers. And really, it's like, um, if you can honor that and sit with it in that moment, that's a really good way for you to clear it so that you don't actually have to keep creating it over and over and over again. So as much as we want to resist our tr triggers, as much as we want to run away from them, if you can move into that space of gratitude, into that space of, um, hello, uh, into that space of magic and miracles, it's something that is so powerful something that is, it will just, it'll shift everything, right? And so as much as um, I came home and I like went right to sleep last night, and actually it was fun, a little funny side note, um, we were doing stand-up paddle boarding, boarding yesterday and then yoga on the paddle board, right? Which I'd never done yoga on the paddle board, so it was really, really fun, super interesting, super fun. And um, as we were doing this, when I got home last night, I went to go lay in my bed. <laughs> Uh, what was, what happened was everything was moving, right? It's just like this constant like swaying. And I was like, oh, what's like, and I'm like, oh, I'm still on the paddleboard. Um, which is sort of even in its own way. It's right. It's a metaphor for life. <laughs> Everything's like sort of moving. And, um, it's like, can you find the calm, the peace, the presence within that chaos, within that movement? Right. So, um, that's just a little fun side note, but in any case with our triggers, can you honor, own, and see the magic and miracles in your trigger, even if it may be, um, it, you might want to resist them, right? Because the more you can feel it, the more you can release it, let it go, and it won't have to show, come in your everyday field again. It won't have to show up again. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And so I was super, super grateful for, as much as it sounds crazy, I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> I am a little crazy. Um, in an awesome way, I love my craziness. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, if you can really, really own it and honor it and just, um, yeah, own it and honor it and really love it, that's part of all the magic and all the, the beauty. So what comes up for you in terms of magic and miracles, right? What um, what happened this last past week? What happened this weekend? Whether it's around triggers or it's something really cool and fun and, and awesome, um, I invite you to comment below in the comment section. And I thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, uh, if you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Much love, much gratitude. Talk to you soon. Bye.